When people are on Twitter, on YouTube comments, or anything social media saying, we need more females to direct movies, and we just need them. Because, you know, females, feminism, the time's up thing. And you know what? I support that. Because this movie, from the trailers, looked really bad. I will not lie. And I didn't care to see it, but I did go see it because, you know, I was like, alright, let's just see it. And I found out a female director directed this movie at the very end. I was like, oh, a, a female directed this movie. And my gosh... This year has been so great for female directors because a female directed Blockers and then she directed this. I'm mean, not same director, but females are directing movies and they're good, guys. And I'm gotta, I gotta tell you right now, females need to do more stuff and people are not talking about these little movies that they're making. The Spy Who Dumped Me. This is a new spy thriller action bloody and comedic hilarious movie starring Kate McKinnon and Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis is just turning into her 30s, she's having a great birthday, but her boyfriend dumped her and so Kate McKinnon tries to cheer her up and have a great time. And then the next day, they, her boyfriend comes back and is like, hey, guess what? I'm a spy and I'm in danger. I need you to do this for me. And it's a big adventure. Her and me, uh, Kate McKinnon have to go to like, like Germany and like a bunch of uh, European places and then she has to deliver stuff, and there's spies, there's action, at CIA after each other, people who are not telling the truth, people who are good guys with bad guys, it's just a big spy thriller movie. And like I said, the trailers did not show, all, like, did, the trailers made this movie look bad. That's just plain and simple, but my gosh, this was actually a very good good time in the movies, guys. I had a blast with the spy who dumped me. First things first, Mila Kunis and Kate McKinnon's chemistry in this movie is so good. They feel like real life friends. I mean, this was a strong friendship. They work together so well in this movie. I have to give it to both of them. And the action scenes in this movie, I mean, I can almost say this movie is more of an action movie than a comedy. And the action scenes are directed awesomely they're they're really well done they are exciting they're bloody they are just exciting and adrenalating and I, I was entertained by these action scenes they're filmed really good and I thought they were, it was exciting it was bloody I'm telling you like I mean this movie is bloody I did not expect that from this movie like I knew it was rated R and I knew it had like blood and everything but I mean this movie is gory blood and there is literally a time where my friend in the theater literally turned and was like oh my god like I mean so yeah this movie is bloody and it's actually cool like I was like this is so different I like it like we don't get these kind of movies anymore but man, I was entertained because Kate McKinnon, sh this is the role she needs. Like, I mean, Rough Night, she was very over the top, but it really worked in that movie. Ghostbusters, she was just, she was, she was Kate McKinnon and trying to be Kate McKinnon in a lot of different ways. This movie, you give her a character and you give her the abilities to do her Kate McKinnon thing. And it works perfectly. She was ha hilarious in this movie she was there were so many funny scenes with her and Mila Kunis she has some hilarious scenes and I love the guy who plays Sebastian I don't know the actor's name but he is the one, he turns into the main lead in this movie and he was he was likable he was awesome he was really cool Justin Thorax, the guy from Leftovers, he is the main spy who, who dumps her and everything. He's on the movie as much as you think he is in, but when he is in it, he's really good. He fits the part well enough, but the one who really stole the show is Sebastian. He, I want to see that guy in more stuff because he was awesome in this movie. Again, the action scenes are really fun. The comedic timing is really funny. There are a few times where the jokes are just like, did we really need that joke there? I was like, that it didn't work. It wasn't really that funny. Like, there's a scene where they try to steal a car from these old people. It was out of nowhere. I was like, what was the point of that scene? It was for a joke. There are some times where they go straight for the joke, but usually the jokes fit into the story well enough that I really liked. And my biggest issue is this movie, it felt really long. I mean, like, the movie's like an hour and 56 minutes long. And I was like, this needs to be like 20 minutes shorter. It would have been perfect. It would have been like perfect, sweet, and everything. There was a time in this movie I was like, how much longer is it in this movie? There was a time I was like, the pacing's starting to suck a little bit. But overall, I had a lot of fun with this movie. The action was exciting. The f there was It was a very funny movie. Kate McKinnon and Mila Kunis, I would love to see them do more stuff together. They were perfect to each other. I, Kate McKinnon, I'm telling you, this is the perfect Kate McKinnon. This is exactly what I want to see her do and a lot more stuff. But 
Like I said, this movie, it shocked me. I expected it to be really bad, but I walked out saying, wow, a female director directed this movie. Guys, I mean, Blockers was a perfect example. I was like, Dirty comedy, a female directed this. This was a bloody spy thriller action comedy. A female directed this movie. Females need to direct more movies, guys. That's just a fact. And this, these movies prove it why. So I am going to give The Spy Who Dumped Me a very lowish B. It was a very entertaining movie, and I do recommend it a lot. It's a good time at the movie theaters, but it is a very strong R, 100%. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.